Hello, today I'd like to show you how I cut up fabric to make two and a half inch squares. Now I know that some of you will know how to do this but I nonetheless thought I'd share how I do it. So here I've got a piece of fabric, this is a full width piece of fabric and I'm going to fold it in half so that the selvages are sitting together and then I'm going to lay it down on my board and today I haven't got a really long ruler with me today and uh, probably I would normally fold my fabric again anyway to cut it. So having got it so that the selvages are sitting nicely together, so that it's sitting nice and straight, I then would fold it up again so that that selvage runs parallel to the folded edge that was sitting there. And then I'd line that piece of fabric up, that fold along the top edge there, and, and therefore the selvages as well. I'd line that up with my board along one of the lines and I'd make sure that it's sitting just a little bit past a line over here and sitting nice and straight at the bottom. So these edges should sit nice and straight with the lines of the board because I'm going to use the markings on my board to help me with this cutting. And then on my ruler, I've got a, a half inch mark in on my ruler. I've got one this end as well, but I'm going to use this side today. And initially I'm just going to trim up that edge. So I've got just a little bit sitting past a line on the end here and with my rotary cutter I'm going to cut that little edge off just to make sure that I've got a nice straight edge. So I'm going to line my ruler up so that it's level with the line above and below the fabric so that it's sitting nice and straight and holding my ruler fairly firmly. I'm just going to trim off that little bit to the edge and that's just to be discarded now. And because I'm going to cut two and a half inch squares, initially I'll cut a two and a half inch strip. So the same thing if you're wanting to make strips, this is where you'd start. Um, and I'm going to come across two and a half inches. So I'm going to line up the half inch mark in my ruler on the line that would actually be three inches away from the edge so that half an inch is sitting back onto the fabric. So that from the edge of the fabric to the edge of my ruler is two and a half inches. And I'm going to line it up above and below again so that everything is sitting nice and straight because it's sitting square with the markings on the board and again I'm just going to now cut that so I'm going to cut off a two and a half inch strip so there and that's the full width of the fabric a nice two and a half inch strip but I actually want squares so I will fold that back up like it was oh no I won't I'll have it halfway open and move that piece out of the way so I would cut several strips if I was cutting several from the same fabric I would cut those strips all in one go before I moved the fabric away uh, but I'm only wanting the one strip today to cut into some squares so my selvages are at one end and so I'm going to line again using the markings on the board I'm going to line that strip up and yes I have got it doubled because I'm going to cut two at a time so my selvage is now sitting a, a little bit past a line on the edge there and again I'm going to line up above and below the fabric with my ruler and just trim off those selvages along that line because the selvages are not particularly helpful when you're sewing. And I'm going to come across two and a half inches with the edge of my ruler and so now that's a two and a half inch square sitting out there and I'm going to cut through that and I'm going to continue on every two and a half inches positioning the ruler so that it's centered above and below and you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just going to cut this whole strip up into squares because I need some two and a half inch squares of the same fabric for a project. If you were wanting several colors, you could perhaps cut a couple of strips together, but uh, I wouldn't cut through more than four layers of fabric at a time because it starts getting a little bit unhelpful and, and moves around a little bit. Um, so that's how, so I've got two squares at a time there and so now I've just cut myself several two and a half inch squares. If I keep cutting till the end of this strip, which is a folded full width of the fabric strip, I should be able to get eight cuts on this double piece of fabric, which means that you can get, in most cases, you can get 16 two and a half inch squares with just a little scrap at the end um, out of one width of the fabric. So. I've got a project in mind so I'm going to keep cutting some of those but I just thought I'd show you how I go about cutting up my two and a half inch squares 
from a piece of fabric rather than just starting with a strip. So you, initially you cut the strip, then you cut the squares and you'll get 16 two and a half inch squares out of one width of fabric.